Hurricane Lorenzo is still a powerful Category 4 today with winds of 130 miles per hour estimated and a pressure of 944 millibars. Uh, at 2 p.m. UTC this September 29th, it was located at 25.8 north, 44.3 degrees west. Looking at the CDPS scale for the island of Flores and the western part of the Azores, now a CDPS stage 6, the storm could strike that region with category 3 force winds and a massive wind field by the time it gets there means that catastrophic damage is possible. Here's its current wind field, 240 miles extending out towards the northeastern quadrant, um, so that is quite significant. Um, a little bit smaller on the western side though, interestingly. It's currently 1204 miles from Flores, 1264 from Horta, 1329 from Tessera, 1367 from Ponta Delgada and 2596 from Cork in Ireland. The storm, according to the models, the models have shifted a lot uh, over the last few hours. Taking the storm again just past the Azores to the west, uh, still you would see hurricane force winds with that, but the rain field, really the heaviest amounts of rain, looks like they might stay off the coast. Uh, but then, <clears throat> according to the models, most of them are taking it further north and then curving back round towards the northwest, which is what they were saying a couple of days ago before they went back to Europe and it's toing and froing at the moment with those models. Sea surface temperatures around 27 degrees, falling a little bit to about 26 shortly and then it will continue to decline over the next day or two after that as well. And this is what we're looking at in terms of the wind field so you can see how nice looking the wind field is at the moment as you can see as well this place more to the eastern side the heavier winds and that is not really good news because you can see it there moving over some of those islands the westernmost islands there as a significant hurricane possibly high end category 2 low end category 3 still by that point and then continuing northeast now if it does go on to strike europe which is what the models have just gone away from this morning it could switch back if it does strike it will weaken substantially before it gets there most likely and this is what they are saying at this point, so there's the intensity guidance, um, gradual weakening really, uh, but holding on for category 3 status a lot of the models think up to day 3 or 4. Uh, wind shear there is low to moderate, moderate at the moment falling a little bit tomorrow. Sea surface temperatures good for another day and a half, relative humidity is decent. You can see how those models have shifted far away from the National Hurricane Center forecast in that latest advisory. We'll wait and see whether that is consistent and whether it's looking more like the storm will bend back on itself. So this is what the satellite imagery has been looking like during the course of today. Um, potentially controversial that we disagreed with the National Hurricane Center's Category 5 reading last night. Uh, the evidence all seems to point to the storm not reaching Category 5 status last night. Um, recon observations from before the storm's peak suggesting that and also the satellite imagery from around the storm's peak not uh, supporting Category 5 status for long enough. However, the storm is continuing to tread towards the northeast um, and it is completely, well not completely falling apart, but it is starting to weaken there in those latest frames. The eye wall is starting to break up by the looks of things there on that last imagery. We'll wait and see whether that becomes a trend as well. But naturally the storm is on a weakening trend and that is set to continue and we'll see how much of, strength, of its strength it's got left by the time it reaches the Azores. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.